What's up everybody? So I, I wanted to make a video today because I had an interesting idea that I wanted to share with you guys that I think is going to make uh, your life easier when it comes to printing uh, or to using a print farm to semi mass produce uh, parts. So I make about, hmm, I'd say a thousand pieces a month uh, of different things that I sell. And with I was really thinking about a way to auto eject these parts because a lot of times I'll make several hundred of the same piece uh, for something like this. For example, I could make 500 of these and they take an hour. So I have to come here every two hours, break apart the PI sheet and reset the print. So I was looking for a way to automate this. And I've seen the systems, I think 3D Qs or some, I forgot the name of the company, but they have some sort of bed that self releases when it cools down and you tilt the machine over and, and you push it off with the, with the uh, print head. And that's interesting, but I didn't like the fact that you have to wait for the build plate to cool down. And I timed this to get to 30 C from 60 C, especially in an enclosure, it takes almost 40 minutes. And that was not really acceptable because this only takes an hour. So I thought that was out of, kind of out of the question. It would help, but I thought there might be a better way. So I wanted to keep the build plate, uh, the PEI spring steel sheet, because I have had zero issues with uh, adhesion. The only downside is that you have to flex it to remove the part. And that got me thinking, what if there was a mechanism to flex this build plate release it and move it out of the way. So I was looking at the Ender 3. I gutted it. I don't have the tray and I the motherboard I actually moved it outside. I thought about putting an actuator here that actually lifts this up, releases the part, and then I just simply use the the head here. And I did that. And uh, this is just a little proof of concept prototype I have to make some adjustments here but I just modeled this in about five minutes and uh, yeah I figured I'd try it out so this is what I'm thinking would work runs on 12 volts so let me activate this comes up breaks apart the piece reverse the polarity this comes back down and then I just uh, use the tool head to push it out of the way and start a new print. And all of this can happen in, in about 10 seconds. You don't have to wait for the build plate to cool down or anything like that. All you need is just, uh, I'm going to improve this design, but you you can use uh, you know this bracket actuator. This actuator is like 30 bucks. And then uh, I just have to think of a way. I use uh, the Raspberry Pi, so to activate the relay, I can use it in G-Code um, using the GPIO pins. But I know not everybody has that. So what I'm thinking about is some sort of switch here, toggle switch, that you can use the print head to, to, uh, to activate it opposite the side of your uh, limit switch, obviously. Uh, you push it, activate the relay, and then have some sort of a momentary reverse polarity push button. So when you release it, uh, the actuator retracts. And then you can start printing again. You just you might have to do some G-code uh, limits to make sure. I mean, if you're printing single pieces, you shouldn't really be hitting the very end of, uh, of your printer where you can potentially put some relay. So I wanted to just drop this video, uh, show you guys this little idea that I'm working on. If you would like to collaborate or you have some uh, some suggestions, you know, let's let's work together and try to make this thing a, a reality and maybe, you know, put it on printables or thingiverse and just have a very simple way for people to automate auto parts uh, ejection. And the PEI sheet is absolutely wonderful. I have never had adhesion issues uh, with this build plate. So... And I've been printing for over two years nonstop. So this is the way to go. Anyways, just wanted to make this quick video and, uh, and share with you guys.